Good morning, and thank you for going to work with Gina, which is the infomercial for STEM students. I'm Dr. Gina Henderson. Um, students, this morning I wanted to talk to you about homecoming. I had the pleasure of attending FSU and Valdosta State University homecoming um, this weekend. Those two student schools are about 50 miles apart because me and my husband didn't want to give up homecoming um, and the schools were 50 miles apart. But So we just traveled back and forth. But the reason that I actually want to talk to you about homecoming because I want you to know that homecoming is a twofold experience. Homecoming is for returning alumni, but homecoming is also for the students who are actually there. Because what those students serve do is they serve in those capacities to make us feel good to know that our school is is, is in good standing. Um, homecoming would be nothing without the great football team that we have at Florida State University. And I think this year's homecoming for Florida State was very good because it actually, um, everybody wanted to support Coach uh, Taggart. So homecoming is a twofold experience. It's for the students who are there to serve in the capacities to make the returning students feel welcome. And also high school students. It's the same for you at high school. You are, to, you are there so that when returning alumni from previous years come, they can still have the good football team that they're used to or the good uh, majorette team and all of that and so forth. So I want to get back to the discussion that I was having in the Black Student Union um, house. Remember I um, told you that I went to a predominantly white institution and that a lot of my life culminated there um, through the Black Student Union. That's where the focal point was for um, a lot of black people or black students because of the fact that um, we all didn't necessarily could we all couldn't join a um, the Greek life or a Greek organization, uh, meaning that we all couldn't be a part of the National Panhellenic. So um, that Black Student Union served as a focal point. Well, when I was um, introducing you all to those students, we had a follow-on discussion that was so great. And I, the thing I can tell you is that class dynamics is still seems to be the same at Florida State University. The students were telling me how it's a culture shock coming from um, South Florida, Miami area, where you go to a predominantly black school and then you enter a predominantly white institution. Um, one of the students said that she felt so um, threatened um, or overwhelmed um, um, by the fact that she was the only minority student that was actually in the class. And she said she would have all the right answers, but she was just so afraid to speak out. And another student said that when, since she was from South Florida and it was such a cultural shock to her that what she actually did was she um, she actually stayed in the Black Student Union because it does have living quarters and that way she was able to reach out to other black students and they all um, felt a part of, of a great team. So I just wanted to say that homecoming is an experience that no one should miss. So students, I would like to tell you that you need to make sure that you actually that you actually choose a school not just good for your field of study but you also want to choose a school that's uh, has a good campus life because those things like going home to homecoming are going to become so important to you because you met up with a lot of people when you became a part of that institution. And sometimes the only way you're going to ever know what those students are actually doing is to be a part of homecoming. I, I met some folks I hadn't seen since 1998 or 1993. Some people live in Delaware, but it was through that institution that we matriculated. And I am who I am because I met all of those people. So you want to make sure that you choose um, a university that has a great, a great, great um, campus life, okay? I want to thank you for going to work with Gina and have a great morning.